we actually are here to learn and because get quicker. We're really bad. <laughs> yeah, no, sure novice, right. novice in capital letters. So my got, middle name is novice. Yeah. yeah. Welcome down to Wilton Mill today. We're going to do a step up two stroke with attack motorsport. By far the quickest go-kart either of us have ever driven. Yeah, the cars look amazing. Yeah. Um, they've taken all our sizes, the seats are to fit. Um, now all we need to do is get in them and actually yeah, show them what go. we can do, which yeah. isn't very much. <laughs> very much. So we had a little chat with, uh, so Max is looking after us today. Yeah. He's the guy that runs Attack, he's amazing. Um, we had a little chat with him. He reckons if we're in the 48 by the end of the day, he'd be happy. So yeah. let's see. Let's see what I mean, we if can I do. hit 48, I'd be happy. Okay, so this is session one, and it's my first time on track for the day. I'm driving Senior Rotax 125cc two-stroke engines, which produce around 30 brake horsepower. Now, this is a lot quicker than the average rental car you might be used to driving at your local track. These first few laps are all about familiarizing myself with Will to Mill, seeing how the cart feels, and really getting some heat into the tires. I'm trying to work out where I need to brake, where I need to turn in, and how much grip I've got underneath me. I didn't really feel like a lot of grip in these first few laps. The cart was sliding about a lot, but I tried to get a handle on it. We're gonna skip ahead now to later in the session. I've managed to stay in front of Sammy for a fair few laps now, but he's really close behind me. And although today is about getting quicker in a cart and not racing, we are both really competitive and we want to try and beat each other. On the run up to Christmas corner, I misjudge my braking point and overshoot the corner, mowing the grass in the process. I make my way back onto the track via the racing line, nearly having a crash with Sammy. Uh, but now I've got my head down and I wanna see if I can try and close that gap. This was one of the problems really throughout the day. When I was behind, I tried to drive too aggressively to catch back up, which resulted in just a slower lap time overall. But let's stay on board and take a look at one of my quicker slaps from the session. So as we go across the start and finish straight, I get the cart through turn one and two and on the long run up the hill to Christmas Corner, I'm really thinking about what happened on the lap before and I'm trying not to overshoot my braking point on this lap. Get the cart turned in, try and not to slide too much on the exit of Christmas Corner. I'm setting myself for a good run down to Ashby. Hard on the brakes into Ashby, using that runoff on the left hand side. I could have used more runoff here, but it's just something that I need to improve on on the next session. Through the left hander, trying to use as much of the track on the right hand side as I can as we come around onto the back straight and set up for the boot. This is a corner that I just really struggle with all day. We go through the boot, round pits bend, missing that huge curb on the right. And I can definitely use more runoff out of that final corner. I went back into the pits to go and see Max, to see what he thought of my first session. Okay, 
the goal for today was getting the 48, which we both did. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm so surprised. We, so I got 48, nine, nine. And what did you get, Sam? 48, nine. No, yours hang on. Yours is 4892, yeah. mine's a 48... No, yours is 4891, mine's a 48, That's right, yes. Who got the quickest response? You, by a hundredth of a second. Nice. Okay. In all okay. seriousness, yeah. we actually are here to learn and because get quicker. we're really bad. <laughs> yeah, Not, so novice. Right. Novice in capital letters. So <laughs> My middle name is Novice. Yeah. yeah. I'd like to be consistent in 48. Yeah, um, uh, I was surprised because I was hitting 51, 51, 50, and then I was like, I'm not going to hit the 48, and that's where Max wanted us. Mm. In the end, really happy with it, but I did just after the checkered flag. Oh, yeah. It's a little bit of a cheeky spin. After the checkered flag. After the checkered back. flag. I know, I know, I know. And I was actually in front of you for quite a while. Yeah, yeah. Which actually surprised me and then I took it really wide just after Christmas corner. Yeah, on the grass. Um, straight on the grass, uh, which meant that you just flew past me. Yeah. It's not a race. It's not a race, no. It's about getting quicker. It's about taking part. Yeah. And learning. Okay, session two, here we go. We're gonna have a look at my highlights from the session. So straight out of the pits, I'm gonna try and get some heat into the tires, get some heat into the brakes, and get ready so I can start to push and improve my lap time from the previous session. Really busy session with lots of carts out on track. So definitely gonna get passed by a few. Uh, I just point these drivers through and see if I can stick behind them, try and learn a thing or two, follow them, see what lines they're taking, see what parts of the track they're using that I might not be and try and most importantly try and stay with them as you can see that doesn't happen my lack of experience in the car and around the track is definitely showing as i'm getting dropped very very quickly but that's okay we followed them for a few corners and hopefully picked up a few things that we can use on our uh, attempts to get a faster lap so we're going to skip forward now to my fastest lap of the session this is a 47.65 so here we go down the start finish straight through oblivion on the big run up to Christmas corner using the run out on the left hand side there as we go up to Christmas corner onto the brakes getting the cart turned in could definitely use a little bit more of the track on the inside but now we're trying to be flat out on the run down to Ashby hard on the brakes there Ashby using the run out on the left hand side of the track getting the cart straightened up before the left hander and aiming for that service road on the right hand side there missing that Definitely more track we can use as we head onto the back straight, getting our car over to the right hand side, ready to turn left into the boot. We're going to come round the boot, really important corner on the track, setting you up for the start finish straight. So we come through Pitts Bend, avoiding that monster curb there, and that is across the line for a 47.65. That brings our session to an end as we see the chequered flag. We're going to head back into the pits now, have a chat with Max, see what tips and tricks he's got so we can try and bring that lap time down a little bit more. Have a chat with Bradley, compare the data between the two of us and get ready for session three. Sammy, you're a lot more laid back. Yeah. You're kind to a car and it's stroking it through. Yeah. And you did it the same way. And you process, without looking at the times, I think you might have got quicker, quicker, quicker and then plateaued and got slower as the session went on. Yeah. You're a lot more excitable out the car. Yeah. yeah, jumping for it, up for it. First few laps were really good. You and Sammy were really close together. And then you got split and you tried too hard to catch him back up. Yeah. And you were really up for it, but the cart was all over the place. Yeah. yeah. And then you suddenly realized, or you just went, Christ, I'm, I'm knackered and slowed down. Yeah. And then the gap closed back up again. Yeah. So, so when you tried really hard, you just fell off the back. As soon as you, soon as you realized, actually, I'm gonna slow down a bit and all of a sudden the gap closed up and you started catching him towards the end. Uh, I got 180 something. No, sorry, I got, no, I got 80, sorry, I got 80. 47, I got 40, 47, 8. Sorry, 47, 8. Uh, I did a 47, 6, 5. 
Yeah. So you're quicker? A little bit quicker. Mm, a little bit quicker. I mean, look, we've got um, four sessions to go. Mm -hmm. We said last time we were hoping to be low at 48, so more consistent than we ended yeah. up in 47. Yeah. So yeah. hoping in the 47. Yeah, consistent. I think session three, I'm going to do 47 something mm. quicker than. 47 8 yeah is that what I had yeah um so I never remember my lap times ever yeah. um 47 I'm gonna go 47 5 yeah is my is my prediction for me what about you uh yeah I think same maybe I'll do 47 really? 5 I'd be happier so annoying because we both know that you're probably just gonna we'll click me on the timing see what happens <laughs> Time for session three, and this is where me and Bradley set our fastest laps of the day, thanks to some really helpful tips from Max. He was watching us in the previous two sessions and we had a look at some of the data on the Alfano. Tip one was to run the car out to the left hand side after the boot, just before pits bend, make sure we're using all of that track. Second tip, very similar, on the run down to the Ashby hairpin, make sure you're doing the same thing, using all the track and running the car onto the left hand side, help you really carry the speed into this corner before you get onto the brakes. Right, now we're going out with Ben, who's one of the other drivers from Attack and has way more experience than us. We're trying to follow him to improve our lap times, which really helped us because we could see where he was braking and turning in and what lines he was taking. Now, just before the boot, Sammy went late on the brakes and spins in front of me. What I'm trying to do is remember what Max told us. Don't drive faster, drive better. So let's take a look now at my fastest lap from the day. So we're heading towards the start finish straight and I'm going into turns one and two. I'm fighting the cart a little bit here. You can see that I'm scrubbing off a little bit of speed now. But as we go up to Christmas corner, I'm early on the brakes. Uh, you can see that here, but I'm definitely uh, feeling like I have a much better handle of the car. And I'm heading back down the hill towards Ashby, and again, I'm early on the brakes here, but I'm trying to smooth out my driving and just not be as aggressive. And as we come around the left-hander, I'm trying to use as much track as I can on the right-hand side to really open up the exit. To be honest, I could have used a little more. On the back straight now, setting up for the boot, and this is a corner I've just really struggled with. I'm lifting a lot here, and I'm also losing a lot of time. Wider than I wanted out of Pitts Bend and using a lot of the runoff here and the cart gets a little loose too. And that's my quickest lap of the day. So still a lot of time to find but it's a huge improvement from where I was at the start of the day. Okay, here we go. Time to look at my fastest lap from session three and actually my quickest lap of the day. As we come down the start, finish straight and across the line. I'm gonna go through Oblivion, really committed through here into turn two. Not getting the best exit, using a lot more runoff and you can see Bradley starts to pull away in front of me a little bit. On the run up to Christmas corner, on the brakes, getting the cart turned in. And the goal here is to try and be flat, which, which I'm not, I'm definitely lifting. And as we go down into Ashby, I definitely scrub off a little bit too much speed on the brakes, trying to make the apex, where I think you can afford to miss it and carry a bit more speed in. But we're going to go around the left-hander, aiming for that service road on the right, and using a little bit more of the track. We're going to come onto the back straight here, getting the cart over to the right-hand side, ready for the boot. Through the boot, through the double right-hander, hitting the first apex and missing the second one. As we come into Pitts Bend, avoiding that massive curb on the right hand side, onto the start finish straight. And that is my quickest lap of the day. Okay, I'm going to take a look at Ashby Hairpin, my session 2 clip on the left and my session 3 clip on the right. What you'll notice here as I come down to the braking zone, I'm getting the cart slowed down a lot more on the right hand side in order to make that curb which means I'm not getting a very good exit. Session 2 I'm carrying a lot more speed and what you'll see as we come around this left hander that I'm about a tenth a tenth and a half in the clip from session 2. So there's definitely more time to find in the cart, just need to smooth out the driving. Looking back at video is really helpful because you can see little differences like this in your laps and see where you're gaining time and where you're losing time. We've just done session three of six. We're both absolutely exhausted. We're halfway through. Honestly, um, I don't think I could do any more, but oh, I'm not sure about you, but I felt uh, a little bit more control there. I'm taking it uh, wider on some corners. I've been listening to Max's advice, and um, I feel like I'm getting quicker. Yeah, I feel a lot better. I feel like I did um, 
47 4 that time know, out. Yeah. 47 4. And you did a 47 6. Did a 47 6, which was your last time. Yeah. So, look, the point is we're both getting quicker. We're both getting quicker. That's the, yeah. that's the goal. Session four and session five highlights. We were both absolutely knackered by this point. That's why I've decided to clump both the highlights together. The mistakes were starting to creep in. I come down to Ashby, catch the grass a little bit and the cart goes around causing a yellow flag. Couldn't get the cart started, so I pulled it off to the side. Luckily, it got it started in the end, limped my way back to the pits. <laughs> It wasn't just me making mistakes, you can see Bradley coming through the same corner, Cart getting really loose behind him, we were just both so tired, aching everywhere and struggling to control the carts. You can see him here coming into the boot, completely misses the apex and nearly runs the cart off the track. Managed to get back out in session 5 I had a problem, as I come onto the back straight my clutch goes in the cart. I can put my foot on the accelerator, but the cart's not going anywhere. I managed to limp my way back to the pits, and that was the end of the session, and that was the end of the day for me. There was six sessions in the day, neither of us felt up to doing session number six, so we called it a day there. I couldn't give any more. I, think I came in the lap early, Matt. I could feel, every time I put my foot on the accelerator, I could feel my neck. Just going, I was like, I can't, and I was honestly gripping the wheel so much, yeah. I was trying to hold myself in. It was like, just yeah. every yeah. time I put my foot on the throttle, I'm just going like that, and I was trying to push, pull myself in. To a point where I thought, I'm going to just spin this now, so I just brought it in. Okay, that's it. Day at attack done. Back in the cars, getting changed. I am, I feel a bit broken, but what a day. I feel like I learned loads, got quicker throughout the day until the last sessions and I don't know, it's just broken. I'm completely broken. I started off the session, session one, thinking about my corners and lines, then I ended session five thinking about whether I was going to be sick or not. Great carts, great weather, great track. Yeah. Shame about the company, but hey ho, can't win them all. <laughs> See you. Speed. The next one's quicker than you. quicker than you. Bye. Okay. Bye. I'm so tired, I can't do any more.